So from, from the buyer's point of view, they're very aware that technology changes rapidly and we are keeping up to date on all of those changes. We're getting experts in, we're interviewing them, we're talking to them. The content focuses on everything that's changing. Um, and it's good for them to be aware of what's happening, not only in their department, but in wider public sector and even in globally in this. Um, and from the vendor's point of view, we've already got an engaged audience. We've already got the people that you want to be reading about your content, that you want to be reading and hearing about your products. So use our vehicle, use our communication channels, and we will help you get engagement from the public sector. The main lesson to learn from this pandemic isn't necessarily all about working from home. Mm. Those were um, uh, uh, strengths that companies could have adopted anyway. It's more about understanding risk and it's more about understanding crisis preparedness because the next crisis won't be identical to this one. It could well be a cyber crisis and it could well be related to a number of different factors. You need to be crisis prepared. You need to think ahead and have yourself covered because you, there's, there are other incidents coming. The cyber threat isn't going away. It's only getting greater. And uh, at some point, it's going to be hitting all of us and we need to be ready for it. For the people, it's very important at this point in time that we preserve, and if it's not there, we claim autonomy of thought that we have access to the right information to make up our minds of information of high independence and high integrity. So what you can do to combat the, the large flood of misinformation currently circling around Corona is go back to the source. We're in a pandemic and the most trusted source in a pandemic is the World Health Organization. A collective approach is necessary.